Hello, my name is John. Today I'm going to talk about shopping. Okay, so for shopping, the, well first you have to figure out what, what are you going to shop for, what are you going to buy. Today I'm going to talk about shopping for shoes, okay? And uh, of course, uh, one of the most important things uh, apart from the style is uh, the price, okay? Um, the, uh, the payment, how you're going to pay for something, whether the shoe is correct, right for your feet, and uh, when you're finally paying. Okay, so I'm just going to give you a bit of vocabulary around that, and then we're going to do a little uh, drama about that. Okay, so uh, first off, when you've uh, chosen your shoe, uh, then you can, you, you try it on, and if it's if it's very very big it's too big sometimes it's too big so it's too big for your foot sometimes it's too small so it could be very tight like tight uh and if it's if everything is very good then it fits then the shoe fits um so the other thing is of course um like I'm not rich, and sometimes shoes can be very expensive, so that means a lot of money. If it's uh, reasonable, that means that the price that you pay for this shoe is not too much, it's not too little, but it's reasonable, it's a good price. So if something is cost very little money, so then it's cheap, it's very cheap. Also, it could be something you can talk about something being cheap as in poor quality bad quality um so the different ways of payment okay uh so you can pay by cash okay by cash uh you could pay with credit card okay so that could be like a mastercard visa or American Express, there's probably many more. Um, debit, debit card, I know that that's quite popular. Um, in Canada, I know it's quite popular. There are many machines, it's like your banking card. You can pay with debit. Um, or you can, people don't usually pay this way, but in, in the past they used to more. You can pay by, by check, that's like, it's like a piece of paper, uh, that you, it has sort of your name on it and you write the amount and, and the name of the store at the top. But again, this is not very common anymore. Um, so, and there's two, two ways of spelling check. So this is check and check in, in, uh, in Canada. Um, this is, um, more of the, uh, the popular way of, uh, writing check. This is more the American spelling. I think this is taken from the French. Um, and sometimes when you are paying, there could be a discount, that means like a reduced price, or sometimes there's a sale, so it could say like 50% off. And I know in Canada, for example, but uh, often when you see the price, and I think in the United States as well, uh, when you see the price of something, uh, the, uh, it's with, it's not, taxes are not included. So you see, say, for example, $3.50. You don't pay just $3.50 on the menu, you, or in the store. You pay more. You have to pay taxes on, on that, on top of that, in addition to. Um, okay. And so this is, um, these are the, you know, sort of like very basic vocabulary that you might need. Uh, to buy um, shoes. Okay, so um, we're going to uh, do a little a drama of this. Hi there. Um, how much are these? Yeah, they're those are twenty bucks. Does does that include taxes? Uh, no, uh, that's taxes included. Could I pay with uh, uh, credit card? Uh, yeah, we take uh, we take a credit card. How about um, uh, Mastercard? Actually, we uh, just just Visa. Great, thanks. Hey, wait, you, you got to pay for those. 